Hockey Hall of Famer Luke Robitaille joining us right now. Luke, thanks so much for being on the show today. Give us your thoughts on the series so far. It's been so intense and so close. What are you thought against the Kings against the Sharks so far? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been good hockey. We're 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 not happy the way we're playing as a team. We feel uh, we definitely can be better, but uh, we're kind of used to those one goal games as a team. It's the way we've played the last couple of years, and uh, you know, like uh, I think uh, if we can get a couple guys that just start picking up a little bit the pace, uh, we think uh, our chances are really good. Hey, Luke, it seemed, you know, last year, and you played in the league a long time, you won a Stanley Cup, you know what it's all about. Last year, the LA Kings, everything went right, and you kind of got through in short fashion. Uh, five, uh, five games the first round, four games the second round, five games the third round, and then six in the final. This year, six tough games the first round, and now you're locked 2-2 here. This is definitely, you know, you guys, I think, can still get there, but this is definitely looks like it's going to be a tougher road. Yeah, <laughs> we looked at the statistics last year, and I think it happened once that a team was up three nothing, uh, three times yeah. in a row. Yeah. And uh, we we kind of knew that this was not going to happen again, you know. And uh, we're starting these, these playoffs. He kind of knew too, like every team was going to be ready for us. We're not going to surprise anybody. And uh, so that being said, we kind of know the team that we have. We we feel we have a team that's built to perform real well in the playoffs. And uh, we have a lot of big guys, and we're okay with playing long series. I mean, we, uh, it's pretty, you're pretty fortunate when, as an organization, you're sitting, you're suddenly up 3 nothing. But keep in mind, last year, most of those games were one goal games also. And you never know one goal game. All it takes is they hit one stick, or, or the referee blows a whistle a little early, like last game, and the game is different, and suddenly it's 2 2, you know? Okay, Luke, now it's been about a year. Tell us about the effects of the Stanley Cup win in Los Angeles. How has it changed the hockey landscape there in L.A.? It's uh, it's changed the landscape quite a bit. I mean, uh, you know, first of all, the Kings, uh, the Kings games now. There, there's a lot of uh, momentum built up, and uh, you know, we're sold out every game, and uh, the demand has been incredible. But uh, even outside, like I mean, you look at TV ratings have doubled. There's a lot of stuff going on around it. So, and uh, you look at uh, what we're doing with the kids playing hockey. I mean, every rink is sold out. And if we could build another 10 rinks, I think they would be sold out. So it's uh, it's been quite exciting around here. Hey, Luke, uh, how about the, the idea of the hockey in, the, in California with uh, these two teams? We almost had Ducks and Kings. Ducks let us down on that one. But uh, it seems like that, that that's exciting when you get those California teams playing. Yeah, it's been pretty neat. I think you, you look at all three teams uh, in California and, we kind of were over time. We've been built the same way, uh, where you know through the draft, where we have some really good young special players, and uh, you know Dean Lombardi was in San Jose and he built that team, and Doug Wilson's done a tremendous job at keeping it intact and getting players where they they contend every year. And and you look at uh, what happened in Anaheim, where you know they got Getzlaff and Perry, and then they built the team around that. And it, you look at us it's the same and that's why i think every year right now it's pretty amazing where you get all three teams in the playoffs when you consider how hard it is to make the playoffs luke thank you so much for joining us enjoy the game tonight yeah good luck luke all right guys it's great talking to you okay bye-bye